Hey guys, let's do a uh, the Los Angeles Times newspaper tonight, the Sunday edition, August 14th, 2016. Oh, this is a gun. Brazil has battled the Zika mosquito before. In the 1950s. Hmm. How much is the win worth? In Wyoming, a tax hike on the resource could kill a major clean energy project. What? Forgiven after a 22 year separation. That's right, we haven't had the Rams forever. Team is embraced on its return to Los Angeles. Jesus comes first and the Rams come second. It's actually Angelina. That's funny. Gap. Views on the poor by race and political party. I don't know. I don't know what to think of these polls. I know sometimes it seems that polls um, might be. I don't know how you get a good poll. Excuse me. Mm. Pastry, fat, and perfection. Kahi is a health nuts nightmare, but an Iraqi breakfast extraordinary. Battle in Afghanistan, U.S. backed Kurd and Arab force captures Islamic State held in Syria. South Korea's hit zombie movie touches a nerve by reflecting social anxiety. Korea has a zombie. Court upholds a burkini ban in France. The U.S. drone killed ter terrorist leader in Afghanistan. Knife attacker on the Swiss train is 
so it's fire. The man pours flammable liquid on a woman in addition to stabbing passengers. Oh my goodness. Burn. Castro, age 90, still aims barbs north. The former Cuban leader marks his birthday with a letter thanking supporters and criticizing Obama. have this little schedule of who's playing in Vegas. Oh, I love Las Vegas. Air Supply. They're coming first week of September. I should tell my daughter. She knows the... She knows one of the guitars. Air Supply. Wanda Sykes. She's funny. Drake, with special guest Future. Boyce Avenue, Mana, the Grassroots, Gabriel Iglesias, Counting Crows with Rob Thomas. Oh my goodness. Have you guys been to Las Vegas? Oh my goodness, sometimes I think I was born in Las Vegas. Recently, but we haven't been there recently. My memories are so, so good. It feels like I've, I've been there. A new twist in a migration mystery. An old enemy, but a new battleground for Brazil. Guess they're talking about the Zika virus. I guess in the 1950s they have it. Now they have to battle it again. Weird. A nation. Trump stokes election day fears. Oh my goodness. Voter advocates worry that his call for backers to stop fraud may lead to minorities being intimidated. And then campaigns on Friday, and he told backers that he won't lose the battleground state unless people cheat in certain sections, and he is seeking volunteers to monitor voting. Some of the agencies he filed complaints against have dropped their ban. City of Hope. Three die in historic Louisiana flooding. Yeah, isn't that crazy, the flooding going on in Louisiana? Over 1,000 people are rescued. And Mississippi is also hit hard. That's terrible. on poverty very widely. And President Obama signs the Affordable Care Act into law on March 23, 2010. That's right, I remember that. This is not a viable long-term strategy. Um, poverty gaps. Gap 
unfortunately, oh, excuse me, not the poverty gaps. This is the uh, pavement. They have a pavement problem. Um, we're trying to fill in the pavement. Possible. Preserve. And so they've got a map here of LA Street Coffee. And there's some some report cards you got a D. I don't see an F, but I see D. Hollywood Hills and Silver Lake. Yeah. Probably because it's in the mountains. That makes sense. And then a ton of C. Which is zero to five percent of failure. B Street, San Pedro, Northridge, Reseda, Porter Ranch rent from C to B, Shadow Hill, and then the A Streets. Interesting. Vernon. Wow. Stuff, San Pedro. Interesting. Many streets in Mount Washington have no drainage or no sidewalks and have some have long cracks and uneven pages, patches. They rank among the worst in LA. Crazy. Yeah. Moon Valley Nurseries. Where are they at? I guess they're all over. Nine locations. Irvine, San Diego, Ventura. Where are you? Telegraph Road, Fillmore. Chino, Maui, Palm Springs, Hollywood, Beverly Hills. Huh. 50% off. Huh. Leather sale. Oh my goodness, I love leather. Sofa company. Fixing the so so streets. Two national brief in New York. Two fatally shot outside a mosque, including an aunt imam. Fifty-five-year-old imam and a sixty-four-year-old associate were shot dead. Idaho campers thwart a mountain lion. Lightning strikes a victim and he dies. Out of New York, Hudson Valley. Pelosi warns of a phone breach. Washington D.C. intended for Southwest mm. Wyoming has a complicated relationship with its wind industry while some states offer incentives it levies taxes some say it's payback for anti coal policies oh my goodness that's terrible of LA Unified's medal. LA Unified School District's challenge is to show that it can raise graduation rates without lowering standards. Oh my goodness. Our church is being muzzled. To cement support from conservative Christians, Donald Trump has been promising to seek a repeal 
of a law that prohibits members of the clergy from endorsing political candidates. You've been silenced. Huh. They're all still athletes. The U.S. women's gymnastic team, led by Simone Biles, celebrates Olympic gold medals. You know? Must have been an awesome Olympics. I've sure been enjoying it. Uh, when boycotts... Here we are in the op-ed section. When boycotts lose their power. Not an assault on our national park. A most westerly entrance to the 1.6 million acre Mojave National Preserve. Can our national treasures be protected from the developers at the gates? Oh my goodness. I guess developers are trying to get closer and closer to the national park. To learn what most endanger national park on vacation this month. Oh, the National Park Service is a hundred years old this month. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. So this is death with this dignity. Sounds my, my aunt's journey toward death with dignity began last November. Claiming that she couldn't move her left arm and shoulder and she was tired and very fatigued. Saying she had ALS. a sad story with um, the Assisted Suicide Dignity Act and then they then they find out there's a lot of red tape with that. That's terrible. Oh, it's just terrible. Left to our own devices ignore the internet scaremongers. Go ahead and stare at your own screen. the internet a waste of time. It's not so easy to say when I click around news sites and wasting my time on TV. Hmm. Would the GOP tolerate Trump if he were black? Oh my goodness. How do people think of this stuff? So much of the Republican nominee's popularity is based on unsubtle appeals to white nationalism. Oh boy, I don't get it. Rams, LA fans, back in love. Dawn, such and such a fullerton, is appropriately dressed for the return of the Los Angeles Rams to the Coliseum. California. Let's see what's happening in California. Developer's perspective. Monterey Bay. Kayakers paddle Monterey Bay. In the background, she probably wants to turn into a hotel. The endangered western snowy plover would be adversely affected by such a project in Monterey Bay. They want to build a hotel and a huge condo project next to the bay. A 
so absent from the state house after being accused of domestic violence, Roger Hernandez remains on leave and off the campaign trail. Oh, that's terrible. That assemblyman got in charge of domestic violence. Oh, terrible. Taking home a piece of history. Oh, remember the Sixth Street Bridge? They had to demolish the Los Angeles 6th Street Bridge. Right after her daughter chose a piece of the 6th Street Bridge, hundreds of people lined up for Rock Day to get take, taking home a piece of history. The nostalgic crowd seeks keepsakes from the 6th Street Bridge. Um, it was a spectacle that would stay with him until he was an adult. The two imposing arches that soared past as his father's blue temple whizzed down the Sixth Street Bridge. I think that's even the same bridge in the little area where they, that was in a film, Grease, with John Travolta and Livia newton John. Yeah, that was a awesome bridge. Protesters fight to close the landfill, but a waiver from the L.A. County allows the dump to stay open. Which dump is this? Nestled among the hills of Chiquita Canyon. Oh, a garbage dump they tried to close. Oh. Who's funding ballot camp? Tim collects voter signatures outside a grocery store in Silver Lake. Almost $200 million has been collected for proposition campaigns. Sizable amount of money went to gathering signatures on an initiative petition. Mm. Hospitals and teachers union spend big money on two propositions. Drug companies balance their fight against Proposition 61. Big money from big tobacco. Two billionaires, oh, excuse me, tech billionaire bags a pot measure. Advisory measure on money in politics. It has no money of its own. Preaching truth to power. Skid Row Pastor leads the call for more resources for the homeless in LA. Reverend Stephen Kujanui. He's been doing that for 10 years with a Bible, a microphone, and a folding chair, and an amplifier. Heat wave settles in the area. That's for sure. Triple digit temperatures bring risk to people and increase fire danger. Family wants evidence from LAPD. Lawyers seek videos and photos in the police shooting of a 14-year-old boy. The boy reportedly fired at gang officers before he was shot. And people lay signs and flowers and candles near his near the site where he was killed. state of California raid on pot dispensary sparks a lawsuit in Costa Mesa because the police failed to show a warrant and city didn't return items that were seized in the search, says lawyers. 
what they would normally do with any other business is they go in and they don't have their guns drawn. Tweaking the formula. A homeless man known as Jerry sleeps in downtown San Diego and the county received $18 million from the federal government last year, but homeless advocates say the funding formula shortchanges the region. That's a lot of money. $18 million. San Diego is seeking more aid for homeless programs as the feds prepare to revise the funding calculation. Newport Beach extends their sculpture exhibit. The Museum Without Walls will continue to run through 2018. Artist Kenneth explains Ecuador Z360 during the grand opening of Phase 2 of a sculpture installation at Civic Center Park in Newport Beach. Bridge strikes a chord of nostalgia. Oh yeah, that's uh, continued from the 6th Street Bridge. A team rounded up more than 1,200 potential souvenirs from the rubble of the 6th Street Bridge and the viaduct whose demise was caused by chemical deterioration in the concrete was a Los Angeles landmark. C Cinema buffs knew well its role in films such as Grease and Furious 7. That's right. Jaime, who used to travel across the bridge as a truck driver, snagged two rocks as well as a certificate of Authenticity and a t-shirt. That's right. Mm. Closing the summer learning camp. Campers climb off structure at UCLA's Unicamp. The summer camp, which began operating in 1934, offers a variety of physical, academic, and social activities. Youths make friends and enjoy studying at UCLA Unicamp. Hmm. That's a week long camp. Interesting. And continued about closing that dump, Chiquita dump. Barbara and Valerie protest outside Supervisor Michael Antonovich's Valencia office calling for the Chiquita Canyon landfill closure. I thought we had an ironclad agreement. I am astounded and I'm actually, I'm enraged actually resident, Valverde resident, on the waiver which allows the dump, the landfill, to continue operating past its maximum permitted capacity. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my goodness. The Shadow Hills, two killed and four hurt in a three-car crash. Two men pronounced dead at the scene. Bus um, Cobrino. Shooting leaves. One dead and one injured. Two people were shot at a West Covina house party on Friday night. On such and such a street. When they arrived, they encountered people running amok and saying shots had been fired, shots had been fired. And the shooting victims were both male. One died at the scene. One was sent to the hospital. 
Cyclovia returns to the Walsha. A stretch of Walsha Boulevard in the heart of Los Angeles goes car-free Sunday for the 18th Cyclovia. That's where you ride either a skateboard, bikes, Developer's plan spans 20 years. Um, our sailboat on Monterey Bay. Mr. G says his 368-unit creation will be a paragon of green, sustainable design with living roofs, recycled water, and state-of-the-art energy conservation features. This is continued from page one. Um, I want to build in Monterey Bay. And here there's a child exploring the area. And he's not the first developer trying to come in and demolish the, the dunes. This, he's not the first developer who has been exasperated by a cumbersome permit application process that can drag on for many years. Blake, such and such president of the Monterey Audubon Society, explains the importance of protecting this critical habitat of the Western Snowy Polar. The builder insists that there is no environmentally sensitive habitat there. But they do exist in a far greater number in nearby beaches. I am determined to build this project and I anticipate going to grading in the fall. We are pursuing this aggressively. Sign the developer. Oh my goodness. Obituaries. Oh my goodness. Star Wars actor brought R2-D2 to life. Oh my goodness, that's right. There was a, a person inside the R2-D2. His name was Kenny Baker and he just died. And there's a picture of him. And the star, he arrived at a Star Wars premiere in 2015. Beloved droid. Oh my goodness, Kenny Baker. It's interesting. Kenny Baker, who gave life to the Star Wars droid R2-D2 uh, in the space opera franchise Star Wars. He has died at the age of 81. But he's a British actor. You know that? British actor. British actor at age 81 was 3 feet 8 inches. And he played the, or the plunky droid in the 1977 blockbuster Star Wars. And then he reprised the role in the two sequels, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And then three prequels. Baker died after a long illness, says his agent. Um, um, more casualties. Total U.S. deaths in and around Iraq, 4,500. Afghanistan, 2,200. Other locations, 130. But it doesn't say what time span. I wonder if they're talking about since uh, 9-11. Is that what they're talking about? They don't have a date. Two whole pages. That's terrible. It's 
always spooky to look at the obituaries in case I know somebody. What? Here's a brother and sister. Here's an opera star, Patrice Monsal, Metropolitan Opera Star, the youngest soprano to grace the stage of the Met, died in her New York lakefront home on August 4th. Wow. She appeared on such shows. Of the Times, this is Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, Dean Martin Show, Red Skelton, Jerry Lewis, Mike Douglas, Murphy. Oh, I love all these guys. I I miss all these guys. Dean Martin, Red Sk Jerry Lewis, I love Jerry Lewis. Mike Douglas, Murph Griffin, Perry Como, What's My Line? Oh, Steve Allen, Jimmy Durante Show. She's survived by her children. My mother instilled in all of us a passion for life and taught us that there were no boundaries. Her incredibly creative nature was gener generously conveyed to us, and she taught us to love and live large. We love you, and we miss you. When she was recently asked in an interview to describe herself in one word, Monsell said, simply fabulous. Aww. Vegas 110, Miami 91, Los Angeles 90, interesting, air quality, it's always good along the coast, oh, this is terrible, uh, Long Beach, bad air quality, oh no, moderate, Laguna Beach, moderate, and San Clemente, moderate. How do you have moderate air quality on the coast, right on the beach? That's weird. Santa Barbara, good. Riverside, careful, sensitive. Riverside and Santa Clarita. Hmm. San Diego, good. Oceanside, good. Hmm. Report. Business. It's not easy being Logan Green. Well, he applied for his first job out of college. And it was a uh, Coordinator at UC Santa Barbara. Hmm. He's talking about the housing market in Silicon Valley. 
kind of odd to them. And they're moving to Santa Cruz where prices are not as crazy. Interesting. Do investors play a role in Hyperloop drama? The venture capitalist so-and-so made a bold promise two years ago. Refinancing to a 15-year mortgage. Um, Macy's to shut a hundred stores. The effects of the Delta airline outage. Queen Mary is getting a makeover. A retirement plan attack. An investment industry train group is trying to kill a California bill that would make retirement savings account an almost universal benefit for workers in the state, saying that plan would be more expensive than lawmakers anticipate. Queen Mary is getting a privately financed $15 million makeover. Hmm. Wants to give the ship the luxuries of a boutique hotel while preserving the feel and touches of a bygone era. Macy's to shut 100 stores. Yeah, I heard about that. Close about a hundred of its four hundred of its four line stores next year. As it grapples with rapid changes in people's buying habits. Wow. They're not sure whether the closures would include any of the hundred and twenty seven stores in California. Most of the closures will occur early next year. The Delta outage, that's terrible. Delta Airlines. Cancel up more than 2,100 flights. Hundreds of thousands of passengers were delayed and stranded around the world. Crazy. Our hub is at Dic poor addiction could sink a job search. Consistent bad grammar suggests lack of attention to detail. Hmm. Uh, here's a parent. My daughter has a guttural southern accent and poor addiction. And she's heavy, overweight, and I'm concerned this will all work against her in the job search. Uh, yes, you have a fair concern. But don't use it against your daughter. To needle, needle her by career path. Hmm. Try to look at her as self-confident and give advice only when asked. What she lacks in her verbal skill and looks could ex her confidence and worth ethic could rise to the top and be bolstered by someone who believes in her. And that's true. Job time. 
titles can carry plenty of weight. Do what you love and love what you do. Um, I should keep that. That's why I do videos. I figured out the key to keeping up with a YouTube channel, you guys. It's passion. You really do have to have passion for what you do. And that's why I sometimes request um, people don't, people sometimes are offended if you don't do a request. But the simple, the simple ag answer is uh, if, if you're not passionate about it, passionate about it, it's no fun. And if you don't have fun doing your YouTube channel, then you don't do it. you love, love what you do. That exactly sums up my YouTube channel. That's cool. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I'm going to cut that out. Four steps to set up an informational interview. Marketplace, pets, oh, this would be a fun, this would be a fun classified employment. I might do a video just on this, but I don't see, uh, I don't see it. Estate sales. Seeking a greener path. Oh, Logan Crane. Morgan Green, years before lived in smartphones, he was the founder of Simrite, a Facebook app he built that enabled people to take long-distance carpools with each other. But the service faced challenges. So his goal is to get people to connect together. A friend said, Logan Green is obsessed with making the world cleaner, greener, and more efficient. Seeking a way to make lift profitable while socially responsible is one of the things that keeps me up at night. So lift, L-Y-F-T, is that carpool business. Hmm. But he'll probably do well because he's passionate about it. And he's been passionate about it for a lot of years. Hyperloop flight raises question. Hyperloop One's leading investor at their Nevada test site in May. A lawyer alleges that such and such used Hyperloop loop technologies to pad his own venture fund and gave family and friends the jobs. And a better plan needed for affordable housing. Refinance to a 15-year mortgage. 30-year loan is a good option for most people, although the shorter version helps build equity faster. That's true. 
Your social security benefit will raise 8% each year. You delay applying after full retirement age. The spousal benefit caps at 50% of your primary. Social Security Spousal Benefits. Dear Liz, I'm about to turn 60 and my wife is 60 and I plan to delay Social Security benefits until I'm 70. My benefit will be large enough that whenever she starts benefits, her spousal benefit will be larger than what she earned on her own. Here's the question. I think that the time for her to start taking benefits is immediately upon age but I'm waiting to age 70. Am I correct? Correct. You will earn delayed retirement credits that will boost your benefit by 8% for each year you put off applying. Spousal. Spousal benefits don't get those credits. The maximum spousal benefit is 50% of your primary amount, or the amount you would get if you applied at age 66. She'll receive the maximum if she applies for spousal benefits at her full retirement age. I don't know how any of that works. Open houses. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Open house. And I give you all the information all in one spot. New home directory. Gambling by manager is a board issue. Gambling online while at work is a misappropriation of the association's resources and a breach of the employment relationship. I guess it's bad enough gambling online. It could get carried away at home and now that New houses. Condos. They look more like condos. Very few. Uh, very few actual houses. They look like condos. And here we are. Rio 2016, Michael Phelps. Oh my goodness. Isn't this a good year for the Olympics? Phelps ends his career by leading US to win in a 400 meter medley relay. Oh my goodness. The US men's 400 meter medley relay team celebrates winning a gold medal in Rio. Michael Phelps gave the team the lead as he swam the butterfly leg and leaves Rio with five gold medals and one silver. Then, queen of the track, Elaine Thompson wins gold in 100 meters, keeping the title in Jamaica. Mo Farah of Britain celebrates as he crosses the finish line to win the Olympic 10,000 meters duplicated his feet from London four years ago.
And I know how excited I get when they win. How, how excited can they be themselves? I can't even imagine. 61 medals for the U.S. First place, China. For second place with 41. Great Britain, third place with 30. Japan comes in fourth with 24. And Russia, last with 23. Russia is last. What is this? Rio de Janeiro. I look back at day eight of competition. There will be a backup starting platform for open water swimmers after this one washed ashore. Oh my goodness. Sports Rams rally after a big early deficit. This reminds me. I love that shot of the LA Coliseum. Yeah, I just did a video. Two videos on the 1984 Olympics held at the Los Angeles at the Coliseum, and I just love that. And Dodgers Roberts isn't missing a beat. Deal went Cleveland's way. Minor leaguer ready for a call. McCarthy limited by his hip. Urias is forced to come to the rescue. Um, Roberts thrives as manager. Dave Roberts. Scherzer joins good fan club. There's football players, mom studies, CTE. Sports safety now is my whole life. I just couldn't save my own son. <gasps> Kim Archie right with her daughter Tiffany holding a youth football jersey. That belonged to her son, Paul Bright, who died in a 2014 motorcycle accident. Mm. Rams fan in first game back in L.A. Former Rams greets thrilled that the team is back in L.A. Eagles rookie Lance says, Jimenez leads the U.S. Senior Open, Tennis History, uh, New Pool Rules, Waves the Line for U.S. and Inc., the Machine Beats the Bank, U.S. Cyclist, oh my goodness. Elaine Thompson pulls ahead. I know. Fast times on track. Greatest Olympian ever. Phelps. Oh, wow. Oh, so much. I could read this forever and ever. And an ad for Fry's Electronics. Thank you.